Across the country, friends, family, and supporters of Breonna Taylor united to celebrate her life today. It's been a year since she was killed by Louisville police, her death changing the conversation about racial injustice and renewing calls for accountability. Antonia Halton reports. An emotional day as hundreds gathered in downtown Louisville and across the country to honor the memory of Breonna Taylor. One year ago today, the 26-year-old was shot and killed by Louisville Metro police officers who executed a no-knock warrant and broke through her front door with a battering ram. Renewed calls for action six months after a grand jury declined to hold any of the officers directly responsible for Brianna's death. At today's rally, Hannah Drake, a local poet and activist, says this case has forever changed her. I'm a mother of a daughter named Brianna, and I worry about her every day. I worry about myself every day. This city took something from me. It took something from black people. And Breonna Taylor's death has now transformed the city at large, leading Louisville to pass Breonna's law, banning no-knock warrants, and a series of reforms addressing police community relations. Attica Scott was instrumental in that work. When you look around, has much changed in six months? Not as far as policy, not as far as practices with the police department, but what has changed is the people. Taylor's mother, Tamika Palmer, says the fight isn't over. For me, it's still about these officers being arrested. It's still about somebody paying for the crimes that were committed against her. For Hannah Drake. My only hope is to do something that makes this city better and this world better. Fears that Taylor's case won't be the last of its kind. Antonia Hilton, NBC News, Louisville, Kentucky.